Revelation 1520. From the 14th of July 1940. Enlightenment of the Mind. Non-Prayer. If men would like to imagine that they could solve every problem with recourse to divine power, of enlightenment through the Holy Spirit, and that they can all put themselves into the state when they are interested in trying out the working of the divine spirit, only the earnest will is necessary, then man will fulfill all conditions, which result in the enlightenment of his spirit, and that is why men are not to blame God who allegedly lets them walk in darkness of spirit, it is certainly his will to bring light to mankind, but his efforts are always and constantly opposed, and man cannot be put into the light spiritual state by force. But on the other hand it is also not possible to recognize God right without inner enlightenment, and therefore neither enlightenment can be given to man about his love and omnipotence nor about his work and rule in the work of creation. And man will remain ignorant as long as he does not hand himself over an intimate prayer to the power out of which he himself has come. But the effect in spiritual relationship is completely dreadful when man can. For the ascent development of the soul, and divine power he does not make use of, Every apparent success in life is therefore the supply of power of the adversary, who uses the attitude of man, now considers him for his part and completely deforms. His thinking he will now no longer be able to bring himself spiritually to a higher level because he completely lacks the will for it. His earth life and its fulfillment is enough for him. He uses all received power only in earthly sense and feels inwardly far superior to knowing men because the adversary strengthens his self-feeling and does not let the feeling of weakness arise in him. And it is difficult to preach the gospel to such men, it is difficult to make the erroneous thinking clear to them because they think themselves to be standing in the light despite deepest darkness of spirit and reject every instruction in self-conceit. Only violent shaking of the previous thinking can still produce success and this just only be brought about through extraordinary events, which bring him into greatest bodily trouble and so to speak force him to call on a higher being for help, if the distance from God is not already so great that he can no longer establish this connection through prayer. This one is lost, but who still approaches God for help he can be relieved of his spiritual and bodily trouble. Amen.